How was that? I think I'll turn you off like this. All right, guys, welcome to another vlog. It is QR Matsuri, and I just got here. The first thing I'm seeing is someone getting takeaway in an ambulance because they've hit the tire bundles, and obviously, Jesus Christ. Dude, someone has literally been carted away in an ambulance right now from hitting these stupid tire barriers that are stacked way too high. Wake up to yourselves, guys. This isn't about the grass, this isn't about anything. You're hurting people. That's how I'm gonna start this one. Hopefully it goes up from here. Alright guys, so obviously if you've been online 
anywhere in the world right now, because I know that uh, even speaking to friends overseas, they've seen information about these tyre barriers and all the car accidents that have happened at Queensland Raceway. And being that everyone takes everything I say as some sort of like, you know, people overtake it too literally, or in situations where I say something about this issue, people think it's me hating QR, or for some people literally twist it big time and like, oh, just you just think Archie's the best or blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted to sort of chat about that with you guys and just explain my stance, you know, in detail on the situation. First and foremost, what you guys need to remember is I'm a drifter. You know, I've been a drifter for a long time. My passion for drifting is next level. Like, I live it, breathe it, like, I freaking love it. You know what I mean? Like, drifting is just love it, love it, love it, love it. My whole family, like, everything, everything I do is drifting. You know, it's all intertwined, all my friends, all that. It's all come from drifting or intertwined into drifting in one way or another. So I'm an extremely, extremely passionate drifter more than anything else. And this is what you've got to sort of remember. Now, as a driver, I like driving with other people. I like seeing the sport grow. And I, I care a lot about the sport itself. You know, so when I... I think the hard thing is when I turned up to Queensland Raceway, I, I got there... And like, I love going to Queensland Raceway, guys. That's the thing. I go to a bunch of Queensland Raceway events every year. Okay, I'm more than happy to go. Um, you know, and I, and I, more than anything, I think Queensland needs it. Everywhere needs multiple tracks. Like, I think it would be, you know, the fact that Queensland, or more so Brisbane, you know, Southeast Queensland, Brisbane has two tracks within 30 minutes of each other is insane. And it's so good for the sport. And that's why there's so many drivers here, because you have access to the tracks. But anyway, I turn up to Queensland Raceway, roll in, um, I make my way around the track, and by the time I go to park, there's literally ambulance on the track, a side of a car just completely caved in, and someone getting put in an ambulance. To me, that's, that's, that's really confronting, like, you know, I've been at Archie, I was a volunteer for 10 years on and off at Archie, and I've been running it for five. Oh, sorry, I was a volunteer for seven or eight, and then I've been running Archie for five. In that time, as far as a drifter, like a drift driver being in an ambulance, I've only seen it once. And the reason for that was the person crashed and was just had a harness on and had a really thick chain around his neck, like a thick gold chain. And that sort of ate into him a bit, like just when he crashed, he his head went forward and obviously his shoulders went forward and the big chain was sort of under the belt and it dug into him a bit. And it was probably a situation where he didn't need to go off in an ambulance, but he went off in an ambulance. Um, so, you know, even back when that happened, that was very full on to me. But then, you know, even worldwide in drifting, like, it's just sort of, it's pretty rare to get hurt in a, in a drifting accident. You know what I mean? Like, generally, the course is set up in a way, you know, getting hurt in drifting's not really a thing. You know, we we crash, the cars get wrecked, and we just walk out and be like, the, the worst thing that's hurt is our pride and our wallets. Now, you know, just seeing that happen and, and knowing that myself being out at Queensland Raceway, unfortunately, since these tyre bundles have been put in. Uh, I do have a friend that uh, did get hit in the face with, or the side of the head more so, with one of these tyre bundles, and he's having neck issues. He has to have painkillers to go to bed, but he's not a dick. He's not going to go and sue the track or, you know, he cops it on the chin as part of what he does. Sure, he's upset about it, but he, he takes it as, you know, he chose to go out there, etc., which is fair. But I think it's just the the thing that's upsetting for myself, and I think a lot of people, is it's not necessarily the car damage. It, it's the timeline in which I think it's going to be before someone gets, like, really badly hurt, just because of the sheer height. I think QR has absolutely every right to go and put the tyre bundles up, but 
they really need to like you know one or two tires high would you know unfortunately still ruin a car but at the same time get their point across that they don't want you on the grass and it would deter every single person from going anywhere near it because people don't want to damage their cars obviously um and i think the hard thing is obviously with tires you hit them and they drag you in um so yeah another uh, it, it's that part of it more than anything and, and people unfortunately have compared you know the situation oh archie has walls or blah 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 there's a very very big difference what you guys need to understand when a car like crashes into something so like archie's not ideal obviously if we could have runoff everywhere we would but we we are confined to a small place and i need to separate the cars from spectators so we do have to have quite a few walls there just to the sheer size of it you know it, um it's not a big space you know but then our payoff on the other side is the fact that we're only 15 minutes from the the center of brisbane which is unheard of in motorsport these days like most tracks are really far out of town so you know we've got a small space but we're close to the city blah blah now at archie you're running along the wall so the thing is is any impacts at archie you really just like dunk 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 along the wall there's never really a hard impact at archie the only time we see even a somewhat hard impact at archie is if we're running backwards track and someone spuds it into the the front wall which then even then is not a bad one you know they come in they dunk 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 down the wall you know you do like a tail light some lower control arms and wheels and stuff but you know what i mean essentially we're not getting any cars written off um obviously as most people know we've had a couple rollovers in the last sort of well there's always been not that sounds stupid there hasn't always been because we went for like three years and never had an issue then all of a sudden we had like three cars roll over in the space of a few months um we've since changed even more stuff to sort of you know alleviate that possibility but again with all of those rollovers they were super low speed um you know and in three out of four of the cases the cars were just like fixed like they actually weren't bad at all so that side of things you know but then if you go to queensland raceway i think you can happily glaze off a wall there you know there's there's still kind of bad crashes where people have like stuffed up going into three and hit the concrete there just because it's further away you end up sort of hitting it harder and damaging the car a bit more but at the end of the day you hit it and you slide along the wall and i think this is where people need to understand the difference between these tires is you go along and you hit the a, you know a tire is only a small area these truck tires each truck tire weighs like 60 kilos so a stack of four you know you're talking 200 kilos 250 kilos of just essentially power pole like force on one part of the car so it is bad and honestly i think again if we just went down to three maybe two or even honestly one tire would stop us all from dirt dropping you know i think one tire would be more one 60 kilo truck tire would be more than enough to stop people from dirt dropping like one 60 kilo truck tire will still smash your sill will still bend your lcas you know what i mean like will still ruin your car but the person inside i think will be safe and i think that's probably the point i want to get across is go for it chuck the tires everywhere i still don't personally think it's ideal i think if you've got the space use it. it really doesn't cost that much to get a tractor down or a bobcat or anything to come and fix the edges um i understand wanting the grass and stuff like it, it is a difficult one because i do fully understand that side of things and <clears throat> it, it is a tough situation like i understand like, i would love archie to have perfectly manicured grass everywhere but we run so many drift events and because of slap and various other things it makes it extremely hard to just cut the grass because there's slap and and wire and things like that in the grass you can't even hit the grass at archie for instance in a lawnmower or a ride-on every time we've tried to hit it with a ride-on it just destroys the ride-on um so you know that is the other side of it that i absolutely understand and immaculate tracks look amazing they freaking do they look sick with nice grass on the sides and that but 
you know, Queensland is Queensland, I'm sure. I don't know, I guess some turf your I guess the thing with QR is, especially in a Matsuri situation, it's $130 odd thousand dollars just from driver entry alone. Like, I think a, th a couple of thousand bucks put aside for like some um, grass, like the pre done cut grass that can just be popped straight on. And, you know, say a day's worth of Bobcat or, uh, you know, machinery hire to get it sorted out you could still probably keep the place nice without sort of deterring the drivers. Because this is the thing, guys. I want drifting to continue at QR. It needs to continue at QR, in my opinion. Um, you know, I think we need QR. We need Archie, like... And we need, like, skid control that have the, the wet pan days, you know? Like, we need all of this stuff to, to support the scene, you know? And that's so many track days means we can have so many more drivers. It keeps entry fees low. Because even at $450 for QR driver entry, it sounds really expensive because we've had it so good for so long, but you go down to Victoria, for instance, and it's $450 for a Friday night drift down there. So, you know what I mean? We still have it really good up here, but we do have the sheer numbers, you know, so obviously more people doing it, more events they can run, it's more financially viable to, to run costs a bit lower. Um, so. I don't know. That's all I really wanted to say. You know, I know a lot of people sort of, you know, it's a very full on situation right now with, with everybody. Um, you know, some people love it. Some people hate it. It's a lot of arguments about other forms of motorsport really bugs me when grip guys and, you know, motorbike guys sit there and say stuff like, well, if you didn't go off the track and rah, rah, rah and it's like, and their reasoning for not wanting the edges stuffed up is because they go off the track. So it's very contradictory and it's sort of annoying, I guess. But again, these are things where a couple of hours on a digger, um, or even actually, now I think about it, in our situation, when I've run Drift Challenge Australia events, uh, especially in Tasmania, Simmons Plains, it's a motorbike track, uh, it runs V8 supercars, all kinds of like racing events. When we run it, when we run our events down there, um, to stop people dirt dropping as much in certain spots, we'll use a plastic drum. Uh, so like a blue plastic drum. So it's probably the least damaging thing you can put on the side of a track other than a traffic cone that will sort of deter guys from dirt dropping. Um, and then with that said, it still happens and at the end of every event we actually get dirt or we usually pay for a guy to come in with a bobcat and a trailer and have the track sorted out and that generally keeps the guys down at Simmons Plains happy so yeah I guess it's one of those things um, you know it's a choice from Queensland Raceways point of view I do understand it from a sense where you know, as drifters, we're probably getting a bit annoying because of the whinging and everything, but at the same time, we just don't want to wreck all our stuff and potentially get really badly hurt. Um, I do know, for me, I like going to Queensland Raceway, but I've been avoiding it because of the tyres. Um, I don't want to get hurt, <laughs> I guess. Um, and I don't want to... You know, the the reason I loved going to QR is just that the, you can go well beyond you know you can go beyond your, beyond your limits you can find new limits beyond the limits you had because there was that runoff to like be a you know a safety mat for really high speed stuff for low speed stuff i don't think it matters but for the really really high speed stuff i think it really was you know really cool from that point of view but now it's like yeah a bit scary i just <laughs> i don't want a friggin' 200 kilo stack of tires in my door. That's like pretty wild. And the damage is comparable, honestly, to getting T-boned by a car in a lot of the cases. So anyway, that's my two cents. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I know it's an extremely controversial issue right now. And I just wanted to get my point across that I definitely don't hate QR. I still love going to QR. I just wish, I just wish, 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 please QR. Just Put them a couple of like levels further down and I think that you know everybody will be a lot more you know reasonable with this situation and again I don't think they really need to be on the edge of the asphalt right now 
the tire stacks are like on the edge of the asphalt like so you can't even you know get to the edge of the track with your tire you know you got to think of the back of your car as a meter behind your back tires you've now lost that meter of track which is probably pretty unnecessary um yeah again i think the biggest thing about this guys is the damage that's happening and, and the danger situation like the the very real possibility that you could get these truck tires like in your face or in the side of your head sort of thing is the the safety side it's terrifying um we don't want anyone no one wants anybody hurt um and i think that just tires a bit lower and maybe just you know maybe a foot or so off the track would be hugely hugely beneficial for the sport in general and you know we can continue to get Queensland drifting somewhat back to normal uh, without all the drama and without all these cars getting wrecked because if I put my business hat on all these written off cars aren't coming drifting anytime soon like these guys in some of these situations are probably out for a year you know what I mean like this dude you know someone's lost their car you know in the case of the K70 which I'm sure everybody's seen like okay it's just the K70 but K70s aren't cheap anymore and for a lot of people a couple thousand dollars for a shell and then the cost of transferring it all over the time and everything else depending on his situation he may not see the track for another year now because of that and to me as a driver and then also putting my business hat on that sucks because he won't become an Archie, he won't become a QR, and he won't be, you know, out driving and entering track days because he's trying to save his cash and get his car sorted out. And that multiplies across all the cars that got heavily damaged, you know? So that side of it sucks. You know, when you talk about, I think there was around 20 cars, like, hit the tyres fairly decently. You know, that's a lot of guys that won't be back drifting anytime soon, necessarily. So, you know, hopefully they all get it sorted out. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the little bit of a new drone stuff. I've got a brand new drone now. Um, so I got to have a little fly of the new drone and a little bit of footage I got. But yeah, this is just a message I felt like I had to get across. Um, I have this platform, nearly 40,000 of you guys now, so I'm really grateful for the support with everything. Um, yeah, I guess if you do want to support any more, uh, lukefink.com, grab yourself some merch. There, We leave for the States next week, so if you do want to make a purchase, you need to do it before Thursday lunchtime, otherwise there'll be a two-month delay on shipping. So... Yeah, if you want to grab something, be our guest. We've got lots of stuff there. If you do grab a jumper, we are chucking in extra extras, basically probably like uh, air fresheners and some stickers and stuff like that if you're getting hoodies, because we do have a lot of hoodies in stock. We're coming into winter. We'd love to move those. Thanks heaps for watching this one, guys. Again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, let's get drifting awesome again in Queensland.